afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Belkowitz. I am the Director of Research and Development at Intelligent Concrete, where we specialize in concrete research development, education, and le uh, litigation work. The uh, purpose of today's uh, live video is to educate you on what high range water reducers are for concrete, uh, how do we use them, and we're also going to do a quick little experiment today to show you how they all work. So. Um, here's four of those high range water reducers made by the uh, the big companies out there. You got what Sika's Visco Creek 2100, Optima 256, uh, Adva's um, or GCP's Adva 195, and BASF's Galenium 7920. And a, a high range water reducer is a chemical solution that is used to reduce the need of water to create a more fluid concrete. Now, it's not that water is um, dangerous for concrete. Water is actually the, the key to that hydraulic reaction, but we don't want to use too much water because we have a tendency of losing strengths and creating a concrete that's less durable. So um, to get into the, the experiment, we're going to be using Optima 256. It's, you know, there are a lot of great admin or high range water reducers out there. Uh, Optima 256 is something that I grew up on. And what I'm going to be doing is taking 100 grams of cement and uh, 60 grams of water, mixing it two, uh, two together to show you what the fluidity is. And a 0.6 water cementitious ratio is, is fairly high. We wouldn't want to use that much water in our concrete unless we desperately needed the fluidity. Um, but we have to recognize that using that much water is going to have a tendency of uh, creating a weaker concrete. That being said, putting that much water will definitely increase the fluidity. And let's see, we're almost done mixing this. And this is what we get over here. A nice, let's see if I can get some dramatic effect here. A nice fluid concrete or nice fluid paste. And this is the stuff that's going to go into the forms easy. Uh, it's going to consolidate, no bug holes. But again, remember this much water, which we normally call water of convenience, can lead to strength reduction and um, a durability reduction. So what we want to do is use less water. So this is instead of using 60 grams of water, I'm actually using half that amount. Um, and when I mix that up by using half the amount, while creating a stronger and more durable concrete, unfortunately, what we also do is create a concrete that is extremely dry, hard to use, and hard to consolidate. Let me see if we can get a scoopful of this. So instead of having that, that fluid concrete that we had before, that fluid paste, we have a very dense, stiff paste that got to use a lot of mechanical vibration to get it to consolidate. And worst case scenario, we can also get some uh, bug holing and honeycombing. So instead of using just the 30 grams of water or bumping it up to the 60 grams and creating a less durable and a weaker concrete, we're going to use that 30 grams of water, the 100 grams of cement, and this time we're going to add this high range water reducer. Now, uh, we'll be doing another video later on down the road that talks about the sequencing of high range water reducers. So we're not going to be doing that today, but I want you to notice at the, at the very least for now, what I'm doing is I'm putting the water and the cement together first, and then I'm going to add that high range water reducer. And like before, I got that stiff paste that's not going to consolidate well, but now I'm going to add, what is it, about three milliliters of our Optima 256 by Creso, And again, not trying to show favorites. It's a great product and there's a lot of great products out there. Um, but we're going to mix it up, give it a little bit of energy. And what we're going to find is, is now that we go, we use the high range water reducer, we're going to go from that stiffer paste to something that's a lot more fluid, a lot easier to work with, and is going to require less uh, mechanical vibration to consolidate it. So again, just like before, we got that nice fluid, oh, isn't that pretty? We got that nice fluid mix. And again, remember, we used half the water. So that means we're going to get a stronger and more durable concrete by using half the water. So uh, thank you very much for joining us today. If you have any questions, just shoot them down below. And I hope you had a good time. Uh, go concrete, beat asphalt.